Goodies and goodies here. We're doing a uh, restore on a bank. It's made of zinc. And uh, it's my sister's. And she kind of left it in the moisture, whether it was outside or in the garage or what have you. Um, not sure she bought it that way at a yard sale or not. But it's an old style car. Pretty cool, old style bank. And I said a while back I was going to restore it. Well, I'm going to take the time to start doing it now. And we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to paint the windows black. Or I should say I'm going to paint the whole thing black as a coating. And then I'm going to kind of, the body paint's going to be about the same. About the same. It's not going to be a duplicate to what it is right now, but being that it's all corroded, it really doesn't matter how I do it. I think I'll leave the roof black too as well. But we'll see how it turns out. Bear with me. Thank you. Okay, well, I started uh, painting and spray painting. And as you see, undercarriage is all black right now. I wait for it to dry real thick. Because I don't want the rust again. And we're going to flip it over. I'm going to paint, paint the rest of it black. Solid, thick coat. Kind of like a primer, but I'm using uh, the window. Anyways, now that my dog is putting me down a little bit, I've got the uh, top of the uh, it was painted twice now. I don't want a real thick coat uh, to last longer and to seal the zinc from the body. And then, of course, I have the wheels here. Which I already figured out uh, attaching them back with super glue or something like that. But uh, yeah, that's the, the bank is coming along. And after this dries, which is going to be a little while because it's a real thick paint, as you can see, I've already marked myself here, I'm still wet this on it. Um, and then I'm going to take some uh, masking tape or whatever, paint, painter's tape, to paint the windows. And uh, the windows are going to stay black. I think I'm going to keep the top black. So the only thing I have to worry about is the new color, which this is what it is, not bad. All right. Ultra two times the color. Uh, cover, which is also uh, has a primer in it as well. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm hoping to have this done before six o'clock, two o'clock now. Probably not. Probably be uh, later on when I finish it. But for now, the bank is coming along. It looks good. Like I said, it's a little thick coat, so it shouldn't last a lot longer. Even if you drop it, chip it, and all that, you shouldn't, it shouldn't maintain the paint job. Yeah. Huh? There you have it. It's all nice and painted, flat. And, uh, I'm leave the roof flat. This is double coated with a uh, black, which also has a primer in it. Okay, ultra covered. And I get a dual coat. That way, hopefully, it doesn't get chipped and uh, it seals the seat. Less than I know than what it was. Cleaned it the best I could or sanded it, grinded it, and all that crap. So I'm leaving the roof for black and the windows black. Now I've got paint where I'm going to paint these light, light bulbs. And 
hill is going to be red, of course. And then the headlights. I'm not sure, probably white or something. And you got the Rolls Royce or whatever the heck it is. Uh, insignia. Austin Martin. Um, these are the license plates. Let's see if I can highlight them. Um, get the little mirror. There we go. Yeah, maybe not mirrors, more like lights also. Lights also. Now I'm going to paint it uh, this color here. Which uh, was a close, close proximity to the uh, wall, but it's uh, so mm -hmm. not. not We'll see how that turns out. And then after all, I had to uh, put the wheels back on. The thing is already nice and hot. And uh, this thing's got it going on. And of course, that pops out. Anyway, this pops out. You can get your coins out, or you can just slide the coins in. They're 50, 60 miles in. Pretty, pretty damn heavy. And then, oh, and then I got the uh, design here on Coke. I'm going to paint it again. And I'll have to use two coats. That'll be like four coats for this uh, main body of the vehicle. Okay. And should be completely sealed and uh, good to go. So there it is. All right, we're getting there. I got the look that I wanted. You look down on it. It's got the crackle look. Kind of shows the age of being an antique, sitting in the barn or garage. You got the black roof. And the windows are blackened, you know. Just need to do some touch-ups. And then now, uh, I'm leaving it like this. I like, like I said, I like the the crackling of it. And be cool if it was in a kiln and glazed crackled. But this is metal, so I take the best part. And that's the whole idea why I did thick coating, plus it seals the zinc, makes it distinct. So now I'm gonna dress it up a little bit, a little bit of design right there, see if I can bring out the license plate number, that's gonna be tough. The tail lights, I gotta do the tire, get that blackened, make it look like a tire. Probably should have taped it over when it was black, but that's fine. And then the headlights and the insignia here, and then the license plate. And we've got the vents. So, so far, so good. Still, still a little wet here and there. I, I haven't got any on me, but you know, I got the window in the back. Looking like something. Could have left it all black. I mean, that would have been the easy way to go. But that wasn't what I was looking for, you know. Looking for a design. All right. Pause it and I'll come back to you.
All right, finished product. Like I said, I'm not an artist, but it turned out pretty decent. Like I said, I don't have to worry about it corroding or rusting or whatever. But uh, got some door panels here. And the door, you know, molding strips. We decided to go with black to darken it up a little bit. And you got the little design right here on the back. I kind of silver it with black, so it's kind of blackened. And then, of course, you know, door hinges. Like I said, it's, I like it because it's got the glaze effect now, because I did it real thick. Okay. And then we look back here. Sorry, but this, uh, having problems with the microphone today. This is last night. Design there, the moving strip, black, black and window, red tail lights. All right. And the license plate doesn't show up, but it kind of gives you an idea. You know, there's a license plate there. Same way on this side, black and with a little bit of silver. And then the spare tire, just, just, you know, for looks, you got the door hinges, of course. Let me look at the front. Uh, yeah. And you got your two little lights right there. And then you got the grill, which is all chrome or silver looking. License plate, a little darkened in down below, but you can't. The mold wasn't the greatest when I made it. So, anyways, and it wheels. You know, look how black it black was painted. Pretty black, and then this this thing pops out. Take your change out or put your change in from the bottom side. I didn't do any looking up on it. There's no numbers or name or nothing about it you know it's probably made in china or england i'm guessing it to be 50s or 60s and it's all metal and it's got all metal oh yeah i gotta get that I gotta get that glued on but for the time being it does go on so Goldies and Goodies special project. It was good for my house. <laughs> okay, everybody, take care.